Hi, I'm Nick Maley and I'm saying hi to Criticolico. And the people of Puerto Rico would like to show their appreciation for the original people who made Star Wars. Rafi Medavia de Criticologos me encuentro aquí with one of the legends, one of the person, the, the individual responsible for making Master Jora nice. Well, well that, that's not quite true. There was a team of us. I would have liked to have told everyone more about everyone that was involved. My boss Stuart was the mastermind behind all the creatures and he sculpted Yoda. There were illustrators that did the drawings before that, although we didn't really follow those. There was a very important lady called Wendy Midner who was the liaison with the Muppets and she fabricated the foam body while we were working on the heads. She did a sculpt of Yoda that was influential too, although it wasn't the final Yoda. And there were some radio control technicians that I worked with to make the radio control the version. The but for me, I was originally just going to make the skins and the skulls but they needed a walking Yoda and I devised a, a system of making an oversized Yoda to go on one of the midgets. Then they wanted the radio controlled. I worked with the radio control techs and did the, the final assembly. And then finally they needed a backup puppet, like the one that I showed today, but uh, one because the prototype had some hiccups. Mm -hmm. And so I built that as well. And people see those photos and they call me the Yoda guy. So yeah. That's Officially it. Nick Mayley, welcome to Getting Colombo. Thank you for the opportunity to, to interview you. How long did it take this whole team to get this Yoda together? Too long. Too long. Basically, they couldn't make up their mind what Yoda was gonna look like. So they had five they had ten months in all from the time we started to the time we needed to film. In that 10 months, we were not just building four versions of Yoda, we were also building the Wampa and the Tomton and the Minot, which I designed, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the Ugnaughts. Uh, we were putting Han Solo in Carbonite, we did the live cast for that as well. Um, but they spent five months just deciding what Yoda would look like. And this was the world's first animatronic superstar, and we, you know, we were just we didn't know how we were going to make it work. Mm -hmm. And to spend half the time just thinking what's it going to look like mm -hmm. just was driving us a little crazy. How much did George Lucas have a say on it? Uh, largely, very, very largely. He did uh, drawings with Joe Johnson and Ralph McQuarrie, mainly with Joe Johnson. Uh, and you know, Yoda started out looking like a, uh, a Smurf. He was blue and then he turned into a, a garden gnome in kinky boots. And then he turned into uh, a kind of Chinesey looking guy, something else again. Uh, before finally my boss added the smiling eyes of Albert Einstein and, uh, and the influences of Wendy's sculpt. And Yoda came out the way you know him. Uh, in, uh, next week it's going to be a Puerto Rico Comic Con. Exactly. What can we expect from Nick Bailey? Where it brings up sour span? So what, what can we expect from you? Well, I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, Puerto Rico Comic Con because I've never done that. It's the first uh, time I'm going to have you know an official venue for doing autographs for the fans in Puerto Rico. Um, so I'm going to be there with that. Yoda is going to be there too. I will be doing some demonstrations of Yoda. There'll be the opportunity of doing photographs with me and with Yoda. It'll be the first time Perfect. I think Yoda's that's ever done awesome. a photo that's operation awesome. uh, with any of the fans. That's really so awesome. that's, that's a real first. Um, and of course, uh, I made a lot of other movies too. So, you know, Puerto Rico Comic Con is about different movies. So I'm going to have uh, some stuff from Superman, some stuff from Kroll, you know, uh, Marvel made a comic book out of the characters that I made for Kroll. I designed all the creatures for that. So I'm looking forward to, to being able to share that as well as, of course, all the Star Wars stuff. Perfect, perfect. Nick, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, welcome back to Puerto Rico. Uh, well, thank you. And I'm so pleased to be here. Yes.